All right, this is Professor Arana with Teach All I Know, and I'm doing another tutorial on your poster design, something a little bit more advanced. This is using Adobe Photoshop, and again, I've already started out with putting all my text in here. I formatted my, when I opened up my file, I, I opened it and made it 8.5 by 11, which is normal paper size and I got a couple of images that I want to use <clears throat> so I have those all on separate layers so what that basically means is I can click on a layer and just move that so I and I can move it anywhere I want to alright uh, the first thing I want to do is change this power and change it to a different size and a different font and I still like that impact so I'm going to use that yeah, but I need to make this a lot bigger okay I can balance this out right here and this over here that looks a little big to me so I will make that a little bit smaller I like to highlight it because I can see it, see the size as I'm working on it. All right, so one of the things I want to do with my images is create a whole bunch of layers. So I'm going to create a whole bunch of layers. So, okay, and I want to play around with the sizes of those layers. So hit free, 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 free transform. That right there will make it proportional. And I also want to play with the opacity. Right, and we'll make that even bigger. Right in the middle. Reduce my opacity some more. Okay, now I play with the other ones change those sizes put them in places that are kind of interesting now if I change the opacity here as well it'll start to layer up and you see that little dark darker area I think that will be a little more interesting put some over here Put one over here. All right, so I arranged my fists in the different places that I want them, and I'm good like that. Now I will arrange. Now I will arrange my bloody hand and place that somewhere. All right, so this is where I'm going to keep my hand. Now I can play around with all the other information. And I think I want to change all that stuff to red. A dark red. All right, so there you have something a little bit more dynamic. And I think I'll add a little bit of extra oomph to the power and Change a stroke border and make it white. And that does it. All right. So have some fun, be creative, and I'll see you in class.